Nearly 200,000 children in Georgia are trying to navigate the pains of growing up, all while one of their parents sits in prison. New state research shows that on top of the struggles of separation, kids also miss out on valuable life lessons. Savannah Levins introduces us to a local nonprofit that is stepping in and stepping up to help. My name is Damien. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Damien. Of all life's inevitabilities, <laughs> there's always a first. I'm a little nervous. Someday, a job interview will be just that for Damien Walker. True. true. But today, okay, 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 it's a milestone. The questions weren't even the tough part. It was. The, in my opinion, it was the eye contact. It's a practice run of sorts for Damien and his peers. We can grow as a team together. Learning how to land a job. The feedback was like, try to use my hands more, talking. Yeah. But listen in to these interviews. I'm a persevere. And your ears might clock uh, a common thread. It was hard. It was a struggle seeing, seeing my family go through what they went through. A common struggle to grieve and to get things off of your mind sure. to escape. A common story. I said, is this a camp for kids whose parents have been in prison? And she was like, that's an easy answer, yeah. <laughs> Christina Cummings is the executive director of Kids Two Leaders. We serve kids who have an incarcerated parent and our goal is to change their trajectory. The nonprofit works with students like Damien. Yes, yes, yes. And Sydney. I'm around these group of people and they're like me. And Skylar. It's okay to grieve or cry about it. To set them up for success. Me and my family have been through some, some, some rather traumatic experiences. I definitely need this program. I need it more than anything. It was just the relief. It was the relief that we needed in a long time. It broke us. It, it let us free. It's no easy thing for a child to endure. You know, my biological mom, you know, she's in jail or she's in prison, and, you know, I just miss her, and it would make me sad, so, you know, but that's not your life. At the end of the day, you still have to live your life. I met many of these kids when they were in that 8 to 10-year-old age range, um, and now they're here as young adults, successful young adults. I'm about to start what, for many of them, is their first work experience. Not so inevitable after all, <laughs> yes. these interviews. I've thought about um, lawyer, something in the criminal justice field. These firsts. I'm definitely going to college. Resumes gripped by hopeful hands. Thank you. Hands that have felt the weight of closed doors. Here's my resume. Oh. Amazing. And just pushed harder. It changed my life a lot. Live your present day like it's your best day and live the next day like it's your last day. Certainly good to see folks stepping in for a situation we may not always think about. Well, these students will begin internships this summer with local partners like Jackson Healthcare and Alpharetta, hoping to prepare them for life after high school. What's going to come next? 